Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I am very happy to listen to you and to see you once again. How was your day? Um, uh -huh. bastante cansado. <laughs> very busy, you say. He was very busy. Um, ando un poco adolorida de la vacuna del COVID. <laughs> oh my God. So you went to get your vaccine? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, that's difficult, but uh, yeah, thank God you didn't have a lot of reaction. ¿No le dio mucha reacción? Uh, pues ahorita solo me siento algo así como, no sé, algo como, eh, como irritada, algo así. Ojalá que no me vaya a dar fiebre. No. ¿Se tomó, tomó, sí. tomó algo? ¿Una acetaminofén o algo? Ah, sí. Okay. Sí, sí. That's very good. Ya. Ok. So I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better soon. Hello, Wendy. Sí. How are you? Hello, Brendita. And hello, I'm Eddie. Fine, thanks. Good evening. Going, Good evening. We're going to invite all your other friends. Maybe they are they're all in Cobijados there in the Cobija de Tigre. <laughs> That's why they are not connecting fast. But we are going to work here. Okay, did you have the opportunity to finish your homework? Uh -huh. yes. The homework is. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Eric, Eric's eyes were like, ay, la tarea. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So. Okay, we're going to work on that right now. We're going to work on the little homework that you have assigned for uh, today. That was, let me see if I am not mistaken. Let me see. Here, I am going to go here. Okay, the time expressions, right? We were working on the different time expressions. That was the homework about. And here I share it, right? This was what you were supposed to do in your homework, right? Here we have some examples. Yesterday we were talking about the different time expressions, right? And the different uses of it. And today we're going to check on this a little bit more. So here you have some exercises and some examples. Wendy, can you help me to read the first example? Que le de que, perdón. Can you help me to read the first example? Ah, uh, yes. I get up at seven in the morning on weekends, weekdays. On weekdays, right? At seven in the morning on weekdays. On, weekend. on Week weekdays. Week Very day. good. Uh, Rosita, read number two. I I go to bed around the ten in the evening on week night. Okay. Seven. Okay, very good. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights, right? We finish right here. Very good job. Eric, the next one. I left work early in the afternoon on weekends. Very good. Let's see, Brenda. 
I get home late at night on Fridays. I get home late at night on Fridays. Good. Mr. René, welcome. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. Very good. Chris Alvarenga, the last one. I wake up before on Before Sundays. or after? Or afternoon on Sunday. On Sundays. Very good. What about the examples that we have to do as homework? Do you have the answers for them? If you have the answers, you can raise your hand and give me one sentence. I have the first one here. I, I get up. What is missing here? I get up. At. At. At six. In the, in the oh, I gave you, I gave you the answer. <laughs> in the morning. In the morning. Yeah, thank you, on teachers. Weekdays. On weekdays. Very good. I get up at six in the morning on weekdays. What about number two? At midnight. I go to bed. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. On weeknights. On weeknights. Okay. Hasta un Michi nos contestó ahí. No sé de quién es. Okay. The next one. I start work. At 11.30. At 11.30. At 11.30. At night. At night. At night, very good. I have lunch. At at three. Three. At three. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. On Fridays. On Fridays. On Fridays. Good, very good. I stay up. Y aquí tenemos at, un ejemplo. At until. Until, right? Until. I stay up. Until, porque aquí tenemos en el ejemplo de los de arriba. I stay up until um, one a.m. On weekends. Weekends. on weekends. On weekends. I have a little snack. At, at nine in the, in the evening. At nine in the evening. Good. At nine in, in the, the evening. evening. Very good. I sleep before afternoon. I sleep before or afternoon, right? Depending. I sleep afternoon. After on Sundays. Sure. Mostly if you have gallina soup for lunch. If you have hen soup for lunch, for sure you are going to sleep after noon. That's more than sure, right? Si tuvo sopa de pata, gallina, pollo, frijoles, etc., you are going to sleep afternoon on Sundays, right? And here in El Salvador, all the mothers say, ay, que calor, hagamos sopa. <laughs> yeah, that's a very Salvadorian thing. It's, it's true. Like, yeah, it's very. It's, and in December, they never cook. They never cook nope. soup because nope. I mean, here in in April, in August, when you are melting, it's like que calor, ma, estoy muriendo, okay? waiting for a fried fish or something like. Una so, sopita de res. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and very hot. So you are like. In the middle of the... So, it is very common. The last one, aquí en El Salvador, si se nos hace realidad, la última oración, right? I sleep afternoon on Sundays. Si trabaja como yo comprenderás, yeah? no, but if you don't work, then you can sleep afternoon on Sundays. That's very good. Excellent. I can see that you did your homework. Ya veo que hicieron la tarea. Guiño, guiño. And yeah, yeah. The homework. So, what are we going to do on the next practice? On the next practice, you have the sentences here on top. You have the sentences right here. But I need you to complete the paragraph with the different sentences that we have on top. I have the first one. And it says, eh, hello, I am Sara. Hi, Sara. I am Rich. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? No, I'm not. I am on vacation. Are you a student? No, I am not. I am on vacations. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Oh, really? Oh, really? I'm Susan, Susan Miller. Miller. Is your class? Oh, really? Really? Mm, analyze it. No, she's uh, not. ¿Cuál es la respuesta que tienen? 
¿Cuál es la what respuesta? Are you studying? Ajá. I'm going to be studying. What are you studying? Ah. And what are you studying? Because on the answer you have, what I am studying Spanish. 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 Mm. Yes, okay. she is. Oh, yes, uh -huh. already is Susan Miller in your class. Oh, really? Is Susan Miller in your class? Is Susan Miller in your class? Yes, she is. Is she your friend? No, she's no, not. not. She's my sister. She's not. She's not. She's my sister. Okay. Hello, students. I am Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm Rich. I'm Sarah, I'm Rich. How are you? How are you? Pretty good. Thanks. Are you a student here? No, no I'm not. I'm I'm not. I am a vacation. Are you a student? Are you a student? Are you a student? Uh, yes, I am. And what are you studying? What are you studying? What are you studying? I'm studying Spanish. Oh, really? Oh, really? Susan, oh, Susan Miller is your class. Yes, she is. Is she your friend? No, she's no, not. She's, oh. not. She's, my she's my sister. She's, she's my, my sister. sister. Very good job. Now, in the next practice, okay? Vamos a la siguiente. On this one, we have the answers and I need you to write the questions. What are you going to include here? I did the first one for you. Are you on vacation here? No, I am not on vacation. I am a student here. And the next one says, no, we are not from Spain. We are from Mexico. What is the question for that one? Where are we from? Are we uh, from? Are you Spain? from Spain? Are you from Spain, right? Because the question is for someone else. So you say, are you from Spain? And you say, no, we're not from Spain. We're from Mexico. What about the next one? No, uh, they- Stop, 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 stop. Stop, Why, wait a minute. Si, en la segunda, ¿por qué no se utiliza una doble H question? Aha. Si la respuesta es larga. Very good question. La respuesta en realidad es la siguiente. La respuesta de la pregunta es, no, we are not from Spain. Uh -huh. Entonces, si tiene la respuesta con un no, necesitamos una yes, no question para eso. Porque si yo le pongo a la pregunta, where are you from? Imagine that, that I say this one, where are you from? And this is the question. Ajá, ¿Qué respuesta vamos a obtener? I am from, I'm Ajá, from, I am from, from Mexico. Mexico, I am from Canada, mm -hmm. Venezuela, Caracas, whatever, I am from El Salvador, I am from San Salvador, okay, so where are you from? And in this one, the main thing that we have in the answer is no, we are not from mm -hmm. Spain, okay, the complete form of this one, the main thing is no, no, we okay. are not from Spain, and so in this one, that's why you need a yes, no question, are you from Spain? No, we are not from Spain. So, okay. The different different would be if you only have we are from Mexico. Where are you from? We are from Mexico. Okay. In this case, yes. Si esta la última parte de la respuesta fuera la única respuesta que tuviéramos, ahí sí necesitáramos el where are you from. Okay. okay. That's the answer. Good. Okay. That's very good. Me encanta que me detengan mi pregunta. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. Porque si no a medianoche estamos ahí como el meme. Le hubiera preguntado a la teacher. <laughs> sí. Si no son Google. Ya. Yeah. ¿Han visto el meme de, el meme de He-Man cuando está acostado? Le hubiera preguntado a la teacher. <laughs> ya se habrá dormido la teacher para preguntar. <laughs> So, what is the question for the next uh, answer? No, they are not on the same baseball team. They are on the same volleyball team. And the answer is no. Are they on the same baseball team? Very good. Are they, are they, are they in the same baseball team? On. Oh, on the same. Sorry, I, it was my bad. Are they on the same baseball team? And there you have on the answer. No, they are not on the same baseball team. They are on the same volleyball team. Good. Yes, Kim and Mika are in my class. I and Mika in your classes. Good. Are Kim and Mika in your classes? Imagínense que estuviéramos en El Salvador en este classroom in your class 
¿Con quién yes. es esta Mika? Conmigo. <laughs> are Kim and Mika in your class? Yes, Kim and Mika are in my class. What about the next one? Yes, it's a nice class. Do you like class? Mm. Do you like the class? How? Ah, si me dicen, do you like the class? Yes, I like the class. That would be my answer. How is your class? Great. How is your class? My class is fantastic. That wouldn't be the answer. It's a simple it's, question similar to the one that you just did. It is did. a nice class. It, it, is, it is a nice class. It is a nice class. Comenzamos así una pregunta. It is, is, it a, a, is, is it a nice is class? It, Very is, good. Is it? Is it? A nice class. Is it a nice class? Yes, it's a nice class. And the last one. No, my teacher isn't Mr. Brown. I am in Mrs. West class. Is Mr. Brown your teacher? Exactly, you say. Is Mr. Brown your teacher? Oui. Come on, your teacher. Okay. Uh, is Mr. Brown your teacher? No, my teacher isn't Mr. Brown. I am in Mrs. West class. Okay, there you go. Is Mr. Brown your teacher? No, my no, my teacher isn't Mr. Brown. I am in Mrs. West class. Very good. Sobrevivimos a la segunda práctica. Vamos a la siguiente. And for this one, I need you to get your notebooks. Para esto sí van a ocupar sus cuadernos, así que agárrenlos. The next one. We have here the specific practice for third friends, for third person. I did one example for you. And the example is the following. Here we have, we have the sentence in first person and we have to transform the sentence into third person. And it says, I am a security guard. I work in a department store. I guard the store at night. And the sentence is in third person. He is a security guard. He works in a department store. He guards the store at night. It's the same sentence, but in third person. So here you have three examples. I created three examples here for you. I am going to move these two things. Okay. I don't know what did I do. There you go. I am going to move these two things. And I need you to work in these three sentences that I have here. I work in a travel agency and take people on tours. I am a tour guide. She, you are going to create the sentence. I work in an office. I am a word processor. I like computers a lot. He, da, 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 da. I am a disc jockey. I work in a nightclub. I play music. Important. The nightclub in English is a discotheque. The nightclub in El Salvador is another thing. That's just to clarify, okay? No me van a decir, uy, los ejemplos de la teacher, oh my God. No. Mamá, mira. No. <ríe> so, no. Venga, es... mire. Mamá, mire, venga, venga a ver. Hablamos de lips. <ríe> no. <ríe> this, is, this is not a commercial. Let's work on the sentences. <ríe> Let's ¿Y qué work. están los tacos? <laughs> yeah, I, I love the tacos right across. So I need you to write it on the notebook. Only the sentence in third person, ¿ok? Solo, en la, solo la de tercera persona es la que vamos a escribir en el cuaderno. Go ahead. Cuando la terminen, me la ponen en cámara. Go ahead. Si no tiene un lapicero ahí, corra y vaya a traerlo. Si no tiene un papel ahí, corra y vaya a traerlo. Ay, René, it's like, ay, my God. Go ahead. Es sí, para que no se les olvide cómo escribir. Only speaking, speaking, speaking. No, it's good for writing as well.
finish. Okay, Brenda. The three of them. Good, very good. Yes. Okay, let's give them one more minute to the rest. Who else finished? Hello, Claudita, Saravia, welcome. Claudita, estamos sí. transformando ahí. Crisia, thank you very much. Claudita. Hello. Estamos transformando las oraciones a tercera persona. Ok. Ok. So, eh... Brenda, give me sentence number two. Okay. She works in a travel agency. She takes people on tours. She's a tour guide. Very good job. She's a tour guide. Fantastic job. Very nice. Let's see. Who wants to give me number three? Mm hmm Number three. Can I? Go ahead. I? Yes. Um, sorry. Uh, he works in an office. Uh, he's a worst processor and he likes the computer a lot. Okay. He works in an office. In an office, right? Because yep. we have office with O. So say in a office. No, you say in an, in an office. Uh, yeah. He works in an office. Uh -huh. an office. He is a word processor. He likes. Yep. He likes. Computers a lot. Okay, very good, very good. Who wants to give me number four? Me. She, Go ahead. she is a disc jockey. She works in an in a nightclub. In a she nightclub? plays music. Very good job. Now. Let me see. Ana Beatriz, give me number two. Um, she works in a travel agency. 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 And take people on tours. She is a tour guide. Um, guide, okay. Very good. Mr. René, number three. Uh, he works in an office. He's a word processor. He likes a computers a lot. He likes computers a lot, right? He a likes lot. computers a lot. And number four, Wendy. She's a DJ, the jockey. She works in a nightclub. She plays music. She works, right? She works in a nightclub. She plays music. Now, I need you to think on the same example, but about you in third person. For example, if I say, she's a teacher, she works at Inglés Corporativo, she works with fantastic students. This is me, right? So I need you to make the example about you, about what you do, about your profession, your activities and everything, but using a third person. He is, she is, uh -huh. without further thinking. Give me your examples. Uh -huh. Don't think too much. Just give me your example in your description. I, I can. Go ahead. She she's works in a political party. She plays music and... She, she's cooked. Okay, 
Ok, let's, let's match this with your profession. Ok, hagamos el match con tu profesión. Ok. She works, uh, what is your profession? She's accountant. accountant. She's an accountant. She works okay. at a political party. Ok. And she, um, one activity uh, that you do in your job? <laughs> listen to music. She listens to music. <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> what a cool job. <laughs> yes. like, yo que Can hacemos... I teach her? Yeah, you can say, oiga, más música. That's fantastic. Yes. That's good. That's good. <laughs> fantastic. Mr. Eric, go ahead. Okay. Uh, he's a student. His studies um, English for language, sorry, mm -hmm. languages. Uh, he can play soccer. Okay. Okay. He is a student. He studies languages and he plays soccer. He plays he soccer. He can play. He okay. can play soccer. Porque can no lo podemos hacer tercera persona. Porque can yeah. para habilidades solo decimos he can play, he can dance, he can sing. Oh, okay, Pero no podemos okay. decir he can. He plays soccer. Ah, okay. Great. He plays soccer. Very good job. Okay. Next. Mr. Albid, your example. No el albid, no el albid a la una. Aquí. <laughs> Go ahead. Perdón, es que la compañera, de, bueno, um, my word all time is, uh, is uh, enojado. It's a, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. What is your job? ¿De qué trabajas? Eh, trabajo en un juzgado de notificador. Ajá. So you say, um, Okay, in this case, I work in a court. I yes, work, I work I'm in a family court. court. Family court. Uh -huh. I work in a family court. What is, uh, I am a judge, I guess. Tú eres, un, tú eres abogado. Yes. Okay, I am a lawyer. I work in a, in, in a court. I am a lawyer. And what is one activity that I you always do? I am not a fair lawyer. Ah, uh, you are, a, okay, so. You are more than a lawyer. Very good. <laughs> so, what is one activity that you always do? Um, don't tell me fight, okay? No, that, that's not. <laughs> uh, pelear con los abogados. <laughs> I fight with other lawyers. <laughs> okay, I have, I have very specific professions here. Wendy escucha música. Usted pelea. Come on. <laughs> Eric juega fútbol. Uh, 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 I want... Uh, uh. O recibir insulto de los usuarios. Dos opciones. Ok, no. Let's leave it on fight. I fight. That's, that's ok. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No that's ok. No more details, please. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no more details about the, yeah, the, all the insults that you receive. I know it's difficult. All the, all the different professions are challenging. All the professions are challenging. Well, Wendy listens to music. That's, that's fantastic. That's the best that I have heard so far. Let's see. I am going to ask one more. Ernesto Mazariego, give me your example. Okay. Um, he's a salesman. Uh, he, he, uh, he's a student and uh, he... He always listens to music in the night. He, okay, he's a salesman. He is a student and he listens to music at night. Okay, thank you. One more example, Mr. Rene Varias. Go ahead. Um, he works uh, in an hospital. He works in a hospital, um, uh huh? He's, uh, I don't know, maybe a uh, pharmacy bus. Uh huh. And sell drugs. He <laughs> sells drugs. Yeah, you no. like you like that example. I he have... has spent medicines. <laughs> okay, he he sells medicines. Good. So important. The last part of our practice. Thank you very much to my volunteers, the Docratic, that uh, shared the 
the sentences. The use of a and n, right? The use of a, it's a singular noun before a consonant, and n, it's before a vowel, right? He's a carpenter, he's a good carpenter, he's an architect, he is an expensive architect. Don't use our n with plurals. They are carpenters. They are a carpenters? No. They are an carpenters? Worst, no. They are expensive architects. Good, but don't say they are inexpensive architects because with plurals, we don't use a or an. Okay, so based on this one, después de este breve introduction, I need you to help me correct the following sentences. He is a carpenter. He works for a construction company. He builds schools and hospitals. What about number two? ¿Cómo la transformarían? I am going to make it bigger for you. Lo voy a hacer más grande. There you go. How will you transform this one? She works for a travel company. She works she for works. a travel company. Good. Arranges or oh, arranges que es? Organiza. Oh, She's a travel agent. She's a travel agent. Agent. Good. What about number three? Ooh, he has an interesting job. He has an interesting job. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. Yeah. He, works. he works in the high school. Ah, our yeah. end. Ah. In a high school. He works in a, a high, school. high school. He works in a high school. So we need to be very careful when we use a or an in the different sentences. Very good job. You survive. Yeah, very good job. Very good job. So this is what we were doing in the previous class, right? So now that we have completed all these different parts of the sentences, the practice and all that, we are going to give a quick look on my friend, the platform, right? Before we do this, we are going to do a little listening exercise, okay? Antes de que nos vayamos aquí. We are going to do a little exercise. Do you have your notebook, right? Because you're going to use it. Here. I am going to play a listening. I am going to play a listening and I need you to write the sentences that are missing. Here we have, Rodney, Tina, and Ellen. What time she gets up, what time she gets home, and what time does she go to bed at? I am going to play the audio two times for you to listen and get the answers. Once you have them, we're going to share them with the group. Let me know if you can listen to the audio. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Listen and write the information that is missing. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So. What are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. 
I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, so tell me, what time does Ratni get up? Get up at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m.? What time does he get home? 11 p.m. What time? What time does he go to bed? One. One a.m. One a.m. Right. One a.m. What about Tina? What is her profession? Office, office, manager. Manager. office manager. She's an office manager. What time does she get up? Seven a.m. Seven a.m. Uh, what time does she get home? 6, 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. And what time does she go to bed? Midnight. 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 And what about Ellen? Flight, flight attendant. attendant. She's a flight attendant, right? What time does she get up? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. And what time does she get home? 9, 9 p.m. And what time does she go to bed? Around 10, 10, 10, 10 p.m. Around 10. Very yeah. good job. Very good job. So now we can move into our friend, the platform, right? Here we have been working on these ones, right? We did our different daily schedules, right? Here, this uh, for this one, you were practicing WH question words, right? What do you do? I am a full time student. Este ejercicio lo hicimos ayer en clase. We study the violin. Where do you go to school? I go to school to New York School of Music. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. And what does Tanya do? She's a teacher. What does she do exactly? She teaches math. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company. What does he do exactly? He creates websites, right? This is something that we did yesterday. For sure, we were working on the different time expressions. What is the time expression that you use for this one? I get up? At, 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 at six. At. The next one. Let's see, Sarai, can you help me with the next one? All night. All night? At night. No, at, at, at night. At night. At night. At night. Very good. Let's see. Ana Beatriz, number three. I start work in, in 11.30? No, at. No, at. at. Recuerden at, que para specific times we yeah. use at. Um, the next one, Crisia, I have lunch at 2 p.m. In the afternoon. In the afternoon, very good. The next one, we go with Brenda, number five. I stay up at 1 a.m. on weekends. On, on weekends. weekends, very good. Rosa, I wake up late? <laughs> on Sunday. On Sundays. I wake uh -huh. Uh-huh. Is it I wake up late on Sunday? Very good. Eric, number seven. I watch TV in the evening. In the evening. Rene, number eight. My homework around four in the afternoon. Around four. Very good. And Alexander, number nine. Alexander Duran. Go ahead, Mr. Alexander. A la una, a las dos, a las tres. 
Penitente. Ok. Si ven a Alexander por ahí en la colonia, díganle que lo ando buscando. Ernesto Mazariego, number nine. I work si on no lo veo, ¿qué le digo? I work on weekdays. Ah, no le digan. Ahí va, ahí va a ver el video. Al bid, number 10. I get home early. Sí, se me trabó el inter. Ah. <risa> <risa> It's like, oh, shh, sí, cállense. Cállense, le voy a contestar a la teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, we were looking for you. Era, era chistín, era chistín. Puedes ser, seguir ahí con las pupusas, don't worry. Number 10, Noel. In the morning. In the morning. I get home early in the morning from my night shift, right? And for sure, you got a complete, perfect score. Teacher. Yes. What is shift? Shift, el cambio. Eh, por ejemplo, in this case, I get home early in the morning from my night shift. Por, for del turno de la noche. Shift ah, sería okay. el turno. Right? Turno. Yes. Pregúntele. Pregúntele lo que quiera. Okay, there you go. And for this one, It was exactly what we did right now. Este es justo lo que acabamos de hacer y a todos nos ha dado duro el ejercicio. Pero ¿qué era la respuesta? We have to write the answers in numbers, right? Write the numbers in the letters, right? Write the numbers in letters. Escriba los números con letras. That was the problem of the sentence. Pero este es el que acabamos de hacer ahorita in uh, the class, right? This is exactly what we just did right now. So, after this one, and I know that you finished this one, yo sé que todo esto ya lo terminaron y que ya pasaron la tres y que ya van a hacer el midterm, because I know that you are there. Here, we are going to move into unit number three. In unit number three, we are going to learn different colors, different fabrics, different materials, And for sure, we are going to talk about demonstratives. What are demonstratives, people? Do you have any idea of what demonstratives are? On. Mm, on. No, really. Ones. Demonstratives. Demonstratives. That, this, those. If, those, that. Ting, ting, ting. Very good. These, that, these, and those, right? These, that, these for plural, and those for plural. That, those are demonstratives, right? I have here one. What is your favorite color from the ones that I have here? What is your favorite color? My color is blue. Black. My favorite color is? My favorite, My favorite color, color is, is red. blue. Blue, red. Mm -hmm. What about brown? Do you like brown? Blue. Yes. Yes. What is one color that you don't like? White. White. Me too. White. Why? Yeah, because yeah, it gets very, very very easily good it gets easily dirty Ana Beatriz one color that you don't like white white okay I see. okay yeah, yeah I don't like yellow don't like. I don't like yellow I don't know why but I don't like it and and yeah and and it looks good but I don't like yellow Rosa one color that you don't like mm, my favorite color is purple And the one that you don't like? Um, so purple is the favorite, um, but the least favorite? Uh, black. Black. <gasps> really, it's one of my favorites. Brenda? <laughs> Brenda, what is your favorite and what is your least favorite? My favorite color is purple and I don't like orange. You don't like orange. René, which one you don't like? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah, that makes two of us. Eduardo Mercado, which one Me you too. don't like? 
Ya, yeah, me too. Eduardo Mercado, which color you don't like? <laughs> Eduardo Mercado, eso fue con Alex. <laughs> <laughs> ok. No, Alex, aquí está, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> Alex, what is the color that you don't like? Uh, yellow, too. Yellow, too. Oh, my God. So, let's check on the meanings of the colors. Imagine we don't like yellow and it means happy. Right? The meaning of the yellow color is happy. The meaning of orange, fun. The meaning of red, exciting. The meaning of pink, loving. Purple, mysterious. Mysterious. Mis Mysterious, right? Brown, friendly. Black, sad. I don't consider black sad. I like black. It's one of my favorite. And uh, gray, boring. Probably. Boring. Say. And white, pure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pure problem to wash it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pure. The next one we have it's. Uh, blue, truthful, de confianza. Green, jealous. Do you know what jealous means? What what does jealous means? I don't know. Celoso. Toxic. Toxic. <risa> ¿Quién es el agua y por qué te bañas con ella? <risa> no somos nada en el no. Green means jealous. Yeah, I don't have to ask you if you are jealous or not, right? I think we are all a little bit jealous. You are all a little bit jealous. It's like, no, no me molesta. <risa> De, de anda, no tengas pena. <laughs> yeah, I think we are all a bit jealous, right? That's why that's why Hulk is green, right? Because when he gets angry, <laughs> he gets big. And yellow, happy. And we don't like yellow. That's pretty curious, right? We don't like the yellow color. But that's pretty good. So I really like pink. And it's loving. It's pretty awesome. And I don't like yellow, but I am very happy. So I have here a little practice for the examples in the um, demonstratives. Here we have, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. Let me get a couple of earrings here that I have. I think I have. Yes, I have a pair of earrings here. Okay, I have here. These are earrings, right? The ones that you put on your ears, right? Earrings, earrings, the ones that you put on your ears, they're earrings. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, mm, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Mm. These mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad, right? The necklace, the one that you put around your neck. That necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. Hmm, how much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Well, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Hubiera escogido el carro. <laughs> so, the pronunciation. Birthday. No, birthday, okay? Birthday. Ha happy birthday to you. No, birthday. Practice birthday. with me. Birthday. 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 Okay, so, let's practice. Yeah, aquí en el mundo ya no van a andar por ahí diciendo happy birthday to you. Verde. Happy birthday. Day. Birthday. Yeah. Okay. Birthday. Ay, de aquellos que los oiga cantándole yeah. a alguien ahí. Happy birthday to you. Birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. 
Canta el birthday. Happy 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 Oh. This brand is so 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 not, not sure. sure. I'm not they sure. No, you. the yellow ones. No. Oh, oh, do you think? This? Mm. oh, this yellow is a good color for me. A good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which, Which one? one? That blue one right there. Alta. How much is it? <laughs> it's it's, it's two dollars. Two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, good. Let me see. Sarai and Eric, go ahead. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They they prefer for you. Thanks, red ones. I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Uh, oh, this mm, yellow. Yellow is it really a good color for me? Well, that necklace necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. Falta, falta. Yeah, ah, por eso no me how much yo. is it? <laughs> <laughs> Solo del mismo. It's for $42. <laughs> That's expensive. Uh -huh. Eric, Eric. Suena no brillo. Eric, Eric. Me voy a repetir. Hey. $42. Hey. That's expensive. <laughs> hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday. Very good. Ana Beatriz and Rene, go ahead. Hello, that is earring, Maria. They are perfect for you. This was, no, this red ones, I am not sure. Oh, the yellow ones. Oh, this. Mm. Yellows, yellow is not really a good color for me. Uh, that necklace is bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? <laughs> is forty-two dollar. That's expensive. Expensive. Hey. Expensive. Okay. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday, Kristen. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday, <laughs> you say. Alexander Duran and Brenda Rivera. Go ahead. Okay. Go, go. Alexander, go. Oh, look at this Erin Maria. Perfect for you. Is it red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good for color for me. Well, that nickel is bad. Which is one? <laughs> That's blue one right there. How much it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Very good. Now, Noel and Wendy. Mr. Noel Alvid. Mr. Aquí, aquí, aquí. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, look, uh, those earrings, Maria, they're perfect for you. 
these red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, the sneaklet isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, birthday. Sorry. Very birthday. good. Okay, Rene, can you help me with Claudia, please? Ya corrimos. Ya no tenemos Steve's. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, look, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I am not sure. Oh, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Uh, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's uh, $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very good. Very good. Mr. Eric. And I'm missing Crisia, right? Solo Crisia me falta. Sí o no? Sí. Sorry. Okay. Crisia and Eric. Action. Oh, look at those ear earrings, Maria. They are looking. They're perfect for you. These red ones. I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this? Mm, yellow is not really a good for color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much what? is it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Very good job. Thank you. I thank you very much. Okay, listen to the pronunciation. Say, look at those earrings, Maria. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. And you say, these red ones, these red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Yay. And you do it, right? Now, we are going to read the conversation. Now we are not going to be a Steve and Maria on the contrary or anything. Don't worry. No lo vamos a poner que los Steve son Maria ni nada. Sino que hoy todos estamos enojados. Yo soy enojada y ustedes están enojados. Así que les digo la parte que me toca a mí. Yo voy a ser Steve. Ustedes son Maria. Pero todos estamos bravos. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. Mm. No, the yellow ones. Oh, oh this is a yellow. Is a really good color for me. A good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? Which one? <laughs> that blue one right there. It, How much it, is it? It's, it's forty-two. That's expensive. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you very much. <laughs> very good. Very good. And it was, it was difficult, right? It was difficult. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Maria. Okay. Examples of demonstratives in the conversation. ¿Qué ejemplos de demonstratives teníamos en la conversación? Those uh, earrings. These okay. red ones. Those, Those earrings. earrings. These They're red fair. ones. Oh, oh these. These. That necklace. necklace. That necklace. That blue one. That, that blue, blue one that blue right one. there. That blue one right there. 
that's expensive. That's, that's expensive. expensive, right? That's expensive. Those are very good examples of demonstratives. Remember that this is singular. I can touch it, this. But if it's right here, I say that because I am not touching it, that's that. Different. You say these because I am touching them, right? These. But if I am pointing at them, I say yeah. those, right? This is important for you to keep it in mind. We're going to go over this topic a little bit more tomorrow in class. So please, if you can advance, there is a video in the platform about the demonstrative pronouns in singular and in plural. And if you can watch the video and we're going to comment about this tomorrow, that will be perfect, okay? This is something that we're going to use tomorrow in class about the demonstrative pronouns. Please continue advancing in the platform, continue doing the great job that you are doing so far. And I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the last class of the week. Good see night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.